Today, I'll be telling you which one is better, the aspect of the dragons or the pigment sword. These two swords are one of the best swords in the game right now. For most people, these are the second and third best swords. They are very, very close, and a lot of debate is around them. So, let's calculate the damage and price about both. Aspect of the dragons gives you 225 damage and 100 strength. Pikmin Sword gives 200 damage, 100 strength, 30% crit damage, and 5% crit chance. I'll be calculating the damage with 100% crit chance unbuffed, so you basically use your talismans, reforgers, and a lot of stuff to get 100% crit chance. After you get 100% crit chance, you start going for strength and crit damage. The second one is with damage with 80% crit chance unbuffed. So this is where you go for 80% crit chance, and then you go for strength and crit damage. The third and final one is damage with 80% crit chance, critical 3 and strength 5 potion. So let's calculate the damage with 100% crit chance unbuffed. So the base stats for this one is combat and forging level 20, which is very plausible, all the fairy souls, the spicy reforge, 10 hot potato bucks, Strong Dragon Armor with Godly Reforge, Talisman's Reforge with Godly, until 100% crit chance was obtained, I used 4 common talismans, 8 uncommon talismans, 7 rare talismans, and 2 epic talismans. So 5 plus damage plus strength divided by 5 multiplied by 1 plus strength divided by 100 equals raw damage. So the overall damage is raw damage multiplied by 1 plus crit damage divided by 100 multiplied by crit chance divided by 100 plus raw damage multiplied by 1 minus crit chance divided by 100. So the aspect of the dragons does 5,667 damage on average. The pigment sword does 5,719 more damage on average. It does slightly, only slightly more damage than the Aspect of the Dragon this time. I didn't include enchantments because it affects the Aspect of the Dragon and the Pikmin Sword the same way. So there were more scenarios, so I'll just tell you the basis and the results. So the basis for the damage with 80% crit chance unbuffed is Combat and Forging level 20, All Fairy Souls, Spicy Reforge, 10 Hot Potato Books, Strong Dragon Armor with Godly Reforge, Talisman's Reforge with Godly until 80% crit chance was obtained, and 4 Common Talismans, 8 Uncommon Talismans, 7 Rare Talismans, and 2 Epic Talismans. The damage of Aspects of the Dragons is 6,803, and the Pigment Sword does 7,092. The Pigment Sword does more than the Aspects of the Dragons by a quite big chunk. I mean, it's only 200 damage, but when enchants and like a lot of things come in factor, it will probably become about 800 to 1000. The final scenario. Damage with 80% crit chance optimized and critical 3 and strength 5 potion. So you have combat and forging level 20, all fairy souls, spicy reforge, strong dragon armor with godly reforge, talisman reforge with godly until 80% crit chance was obtained, 4 common talismans, 8 uncommon talismans, 7 will talismans, and 2 epic talismans. Quit 3 potion, strength 5 potion, and the aspect of the dragons will do 9,403, and the pigment sword will do 9,392. So the aspect of the dragons will do more damage by only 11 damage. So it'll probably become about 100. So the pigment sword did more damage in two scenarios, the aspect of the dragons did more damage in one scenario. The pigment sword cost 10 million and 500,000 coins, while aspect of the dragons cost 6 to 7 million coins. Aspect of the dragons cost less, but pigment sword does more damage in more cases. I'd recommend aspect of the dragons though, since it's 50% cheaper and it even sometimes does more damage. Remember, if you have low stats, Aspect of the Dragons will do more damage. But, if you're really rich, you might be able to get a pigment sword. It's up to you which one to pick. Now, I hope you know whether to go for the Aspect of the Dragons or the pigment sword. Please like and subscribe, and bye bye!